check it out. We are blessed with another beautiful day. It is gorgeous out here in Indiana. You hear the birds chirping. Neighborhood's quiet. That guy was mowing his yard. I'm glad he's done. He's got a great big riding lawnmower for that little bit of yard in his trailer. But hey, you know, whatever, man. I think it's kind of funny, but hey, if he enjoys it, I ain't knocking him. Whatever. It is a nice mower. It's a John Deere, but I just think it's funny. You know, riding lawnmower for like four feet of grass. But hey, you know, each to their own, man. I ain't hating him. I just think it's funny. I get humor out of it. But anyway, guys, here's something that some people might find some humor in. The mini truck. We was out at O'Reilly's yesterday hanging out, man. And I went in to get the air fresheners for the blazer. My Kool-Aid was make it smell like cherry Kool-Aid. You guys are going to love that anyway. But uh, I come out and this thing, man, this whole nose, the front end was just leaking, man. Look like, uh, you know how every neighborhood's got that kid? He comes up and plays with your kid and his nose all running. He's like, how you doing today? <laughs> That's what that thing looked like, guys. It was just leaking everywhere. So uh, I noticed we got a little crack in the radiator. We're going to try something to remedy it. Uh, O'Reilly's has some stuff that I picked up while I was out there. Those guys helped me out and uh, we checked on a new radiator. Uh, it's not much. I think it's like 120 some bucks or whatever. And I think they got it on the shelf, she said. So anyway, if this doesn't work, guys, we're just going to go get a new radiator and say the heck with it. But I'm going to get this flipped around and quit yakking and you can see what I got going on. You can see the hood up is up up there. So uh, we're going to check out what I got sitting in the bed and then I'm going to show you that. So. That's what it is, guys. When you get you flipped around, let's check this out. Man, that sun's gorgeous, isn't it, guys? I love it. All right, trappers. We're out here. Like I said, it's beautiful out here today. Check this out. In the back back here, I don't know what this even was. It's a jug. It's not even what it is. It's just a jug of water. I got some water out here. This is some universal antifreeze. It's already pre-diluted, man. It, it already comes mixed. So that's what we use. Um, it was like 10 bucks, and I know that the concentrate is like 13 bucks or 14 bucks or something like that and you get twice as much technically but they already do the work so with what I'm doing this works out perfect I don't really need the concentrate um, the thermostat I think maybe sticks sometimes so I've actually had this here for like two months because it stuck one other time on me I'm pretty certain but I don't want to warp the heads guys so we really got to get this fixed the thermostat needs to go in we need to get the radiator uh, healed up uh, that little block that little four cylinder block that's up there uh, guys if you beat on them overheat them you're gonna warp the heads and have all kinds of problems and that thing runs good and I want to keep it running good so we got to get this remedied we can't be doing this all summer um, this is what we got here Got this same place out at O'Reilly's. I forget what this cost. This is this has been here for a minute. I've never used. Uh, I actually have never used any of this bars leak stuff uh, for my radiators. It says uh, that this is a concentrate. It says for four cylinder engine, uh, use half of this. I think. So we're gonna use half of this. It says just put it in to a cool radiator, uh, and then let it run or idle for 15 or 30 minutes. Uh, if it's still overheating and leaking and that sort, uh, try it again. Guys, I really don't think this is going to work. And I think maybe if it were at the bottom part of the radiator, maybe it would work better. But where this particular issue is, I don't think this is really going to work, guys. I think we're looking at a radiator. But luckily for us, let's check this out. Luckily for us, this radiator really does seem really simple to get out of here. You have the connection here and it looks like this just pops off. As long as you don't destroy the end of that, you're good. And then down here, there's a hose, and look, somebody even has the clamp facing this way, so it's easy to get the channel locks on it. We'll take the air filter off here. Um, let's see, a couple bolts here in the front. I know there's a couple, let's see, if they're hard to see where this air filter is. Let's see if I can get this camera around here. But there's two of them. There's one here, and then I think there's one back off, more on this side. But they're really easy to get to, guys. Yeah, it's right here. Let's see if I can get the camera down here. That darn thing's in the way of the shot, but it's right there. The other one's right there. I think we got, let's see, two on this side down in here, guys. We get two, so that shroud. But these things move, they'll come, see, it comes right off. It's just a clip, holds that in there. So that's real simple to get off. Uh, we'll pull the shroud off. This hose will have to come off here. This connection here. Uh, you have, I think it's a transmission cooler and an oil cooler. This is an automatic, so this gets the, uh, I'm not sure which is which. Pardon me on the train, guys. But I know one of these is transmission cooler. There's another one down here. 
that is the oil cooler. Uh, this is the inlet or whatever it takes coolant to the engine, I do believe. Um, so that's what it is over there. Let's see if we can have any down here. Nope. None of those coolers on this side. We just have those those two there. I think we have another hose over here. This one here. Let's see if it's down here at the bottom. Yeah, and just the oil and transmission cooler on that side, guys, is what it looks like there. And while we're in here, we'll clean up some of these wires and stuff. I got them moved out of the way because uh, I was messing with this. But this leak, guys, this is what I want to show you. Check this out. It's right up here in the top let's see if we can get that camera in you can see that crack right there on the end of my finger let's get it zoomed in here you see that it's just getting old and brittle guys and i think this is plastic i asked wilkie i said hey man hit me with the well with that he's like i can't it's plastic man so i don't know we could probably like plastic weld it or plastic repair it but i don't think it's going to hold to the pressure uh if this bars leak doesn't work guys i think we're just going to get a new radiator in it so that's what that's what we're looking at here with this thing we got the front end up. It's got a runny nose. It definitely has a runny nose, guys. Trap blazer sitting here. Man, I do like this truck, guys. I really do. This thing looking nice, man. Nice. I took it to go get my coffee this morning. Took it for a little ride. I beat the stereo a little bit. This is a fun truck, man. I like this truck. I like that bright red, too. The Lolo is a fun truck. I like it. Like I said, guys, it's a little more of a project. Like I said, you know, this would be the Trap Blazer. And, you know, this would be a little more of the project. So, this is one of the projects we're working on, guys. This engine doesn't run bad at all. It runs real good. And I want to keep it that way, guys. Uh, it's real good on gas. I don't have no problems with it. Just that little radiator leak. The air ride's in good shape now. I think we're going to put some new shoes on it, some new rubbers. Um... The ones that come off the blazer, them little skinny ones. I got three good tires, and that one was messed up. So uh, Josh Witz, he took care of that one for me. He got it out of here. Thank you, Josh. Uh, big shout out, props to him, guys, helping me out. But uh, all we gotta do is order one more tire, and we we can put new new ones on here. I don't know what we're gonna do with these wheels, guys. I don't know if we're gonna clean them up or what. But that stuff will be coming. All that good stuff. But before all that. I'm going to take a little lunch break, guys, and then we're going to get out here, and we're going to get started with this. Uh, I may not put the thermostat in until I put the new radiator in, which is kind of funny that I say that because we're going to try this, but I'm already planning on putting the radiator in. If this does work for some reason uh, and stays okay, then I might go ahead and just swap that, guys, but I really don't think this is going to work for me. I'll be real surprised, but I'll let... Let you guys know how it works out for me, and we'll see y'all in the next clip. Keep on trapping. That's what it is. We stand out like bird shit on a black shoe. 